Wayne's made really good clinical progress over the last two weeks. He's completed all of the running we could have asked him to do. Prior to making um, the decision to progress him into contact training this week, we had a CT scan that showed that healing wasn't quite at the level we'd like to make that progression. So we've made the decision to set him for next season now and Wayne won't attempt to try to play this year. He's progressed clinically very well in terms of what he's able to do, but the recent scan has shown that the bony healing isn't quite at the level that we'd like. So while his foot is feeling good, we're not happy with it structurally, so we're going to hold him back till next season. Ben's foot's progressing well, so he's started some light running on the anti-gravity treadmill today, um, and we'll see how he responds to that initial loading. Ben's touch and go as to whether he'll return to play. It's most likely that he will not, but we'll continue the conservative management program we've got in place at the moment and just assess on a week to week basis. Look, Will's going very well. He uh, was cleared to play in the game that we've just played against the Hawks. The decision was made with Will to just spend a little more time gradually progressing his integration into contact training and build a volume of that body of work. Um, so while he's medically available again this weekend, we're probably going to spend another week just developing those components of Will's program. At the moment, we're taking a longer term view with him and setting him for Carlton. Tom's training very well at the moment. Uh, we expect him to be back for the Carlton game. He's already pressing us for availability against GWS, but we'll hold him out until Carlton. Yeah, right, Andy's had two really good weeks of training on the track. He should be right to go on the weekend against GWS. We'll just monitor a few key indicators on him over the remainder of the week.